And that's how I do it. That's how I do it. And that's how I do it. And that's how it's done. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. And that's how I do it. And that's how it's done. Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be saving this bike from the landfill. Also, trying out a new microphone. I'm currently using the old one, so let's see if you hear an improvement. Alright, so we are on the new microphone. Alright, so I, I got this as an early Father's Day's gift. So shout out to all the fathers out there and enjoy your day today. So I was helping this lady move and this bike was one of the items she didn't want to take with her to the new house. So I still loaded it to the truck and brought it home. So I got the bike home and tried to put air in it, but it wouldn't hold. Also, the tires showed that they had dry rot, so it was time to replace them. So the next day, got placed an order, new inner tubes, new tires, and just waiting for them to arrive so I can start working on it. Not sure how my dad does it but he always selects the correct socket on the first try. It takes me several attempts to get the correct one. I forgot to mention, but the bike that I'm working on is a Mongoose MGX DXR. It's considered a mountain bike. Now that the wheel is off, we can start removing the inner tube and tire I think the last time I messed with a bike like this was in middle school it's been a very long time since I've ridden the bike I think I still have the scars to prove that I had a good childhood with some bikes used to jump ramps uh, falling was always the worst cause uh, it was a gravel road and the rocks hurt the tires are by the brand Kenda the model I will put down in the description because I don't remember it also the inner tubes are filled with green slime so we'll see how they work out. The inner tube didn't want to stay inside the tire so I was trying to pump some air in it but didn't want to work so had to bring out the compressor and that helped a lot it's not bike related but earlier today got the news um, Houston is one of the host cities for the 2026 World Cup so looking forward to that hopefully I'll be able to, to score some tickets and cheer on any team that's playing that day how many of you are fans of the sport did your city get selected let me know I should have chosen a better spot to record but at least the sun is starting to go down and I'm not getting that glare anymore almost done with the first wheel second one should be a breeze now that I remember how to do it please consider subscribing this will probably be the last time I say it on the video don't really like saying it or rather just put it in text 
if this YouTube channel ever goes anywhere and I actually get the chance to sell merch, I'll be happy to do that. But I will never open a Patreon account and never ask y'all for any type of money. The wheels are going on, so you know what that means. We're almost at the finish line. The two tire pressure gauges that I have weren't working properly. Uh, one was digital and it was out of batteries and I didn't have replacements and the other one just didn't want to work uh, probably too low of PSI on, on these tires did a lap and had to return to the pit to add some more air did a few more laps and I did find some issues the the shocks that are on the forks um, are stuck and also it's not shifting gears properly um, not sure what it's called but the one on the rear it seems to need a new wire not sure what's wrong with the one by the pedal but we'll have to investigate and see how I can fix it in a later time the rear brakes seem to be fine the front needs some adjustment the way I'll be using this bike, these issues will probably will not bother me. Thank you for watching. Main purpose was to test out this mic. Pretty satisfied. See you on the next one.